until I find about standard process labs and the truth of some of these things, I'm real cautionary about things. Yeah, my man, thanks for your comment here. I love that. Uh, I hope you're well, my friend. You're a good, good dude. This is Blues Dog. Oh, man, you're up my alley, Blues Dog. I've got old uh, Duke, Duke Danger here. He's coming. He's doing kicking butt, man. He's played with everybody that there is on the on the road. Even B.B. Uh, King gave him old Lucille years ago. I mean, Duke is an incredible player there. Uh, a lot of blues players in here. But uh, antibiotics, and I just said that earlier about Cipro. The biggest problem, man, I think happened to man was the use of antibiotics. That started this uh, accelerating the, the suppression of man's lymph system, especially the sulfur drugs. This is, this is another crime that we've used. We're trying to kill the messenger. There's times where bacteria is having a heyday, absolutely. Uh, but in reality, it's all about the culturing medium, not about the bacterium. No one would go to a septic tank and kill the bacteria in their septic tank because their septic tank was backing up and sewage was overflowing in their house. And that's basically what most people are experiencing, pain and swelling and tumors and boils and cysts, they're experiencing the sewage backing up in the house. Well, you've got to expect bacterial action to happen. That, that's essential to happen in the body when that is. That's what bacteria's job is, is sewage, break, breaks down sewage. So you don't kill the messenger for the sake of killing. I, I bet you if you look back from the advent of antibiotics, you're prob it, the death rate is probably well in the tens of millions of people have died from the use of antibiotics. We think that's good? Mr. Stone might. Obviously, if he thinks chemotherapy is good, he probably thinks antibiotics or she thinks antibiotics is good. Dangerous practice. Of the herbal antibiotics are a broad range of antibiotics, antivirals, and <coughs> excuse me, antifungals, and the like. So, and they don't, they don't kill systemic bacteria. They, it's like it, it has a consciousness to kill the overgrowth, but, you know, it doesn't disturb intestinal flora, but yet it'll kill worms and flu. I mean, it's just great stuff. Uh, the right, that's the herbs are always on top here with everything. And we just have to understand and change the way the medical profession looks at itself and relearn the truth. And then they'll get themselves straightened around. I don't know what they're going to do to make up for all the extreme uh, problems that they've created and the extreme financial. Our, our, one of the biggest problems we face in this country is the, uh, the allopathic uh, um, financial problems that, that face the medical community. Hospitals are out of touch. They're slamming people with these high prices. Uh, everything is way out of touch. It shows you this has nothing to do with truth whatsoever. It's a greed machine that, that's uh, spiraling out of control, willfully killing tens of thousands of peoples every month. And uh, for the sake of what? You know, so huge awakening must take place here. But uh, thanks so much, you guys, for all your support there. I know that. Here's War Cheer. Uh, thank you so much for the bids. Uh, let me see, Drew, send me some information. You did get some stuff in. Let me see here. Uh, I was concerned about uh, three months in a hospital with a seizure. Now, this is about a grand, disabled granddaughter. Listen, you call in uh, Warcher. I don't know. If, I think that's how you pronounce that. And uh, definitely help you and help your granddaughter there. This is what you're going to see in the grandkids. I tell you, it's a sad thing, but this is really uh, get into her adrenal glands, get her kidneys, get her lymph moving. At the same time, you might want to pop up her parathyroid to make sure she's utilizing calcium just to keep from seizing, having seizures. You want to detox any neural toxins from vaccines and things out of her because these are neural toxins and this is probably what she's experiencing. So you got to detox neural toxicity out of her, strengthen the myelin sheath, strengthen the autonomic, get up in the central nervous system with the brain. Use upper circulation, brain and nerve. At the same time, get into the adrenals. I pop up the parathyroid to make sure she's utilizing calcium. Is she cold? That'd be the thyroid. And you just go on down the road with her. We can get a little picture of her eyes someday and go into this. And you're going to do the same thing on yourself, depending. 
but uh, she's asked the offspring of you, even if you're the grandpa. So there's genes there, and you got to look at that. But uh, you you can use uh, the neuromuscular spasms, which is an antispasmodic. You can use that to control the seizures a little bit. I'm sure they're going to have her on dilantin or something. Uh, I, I've been increasing the fruits, lowering the fats. I had to come off the female. I had to laugh in that. In why I had to laugh. I'm gonna to have to remember that. Matter of fact, <laughs> this is funny. I had to come off the female repo for a week because I couldn't stop thinking about sex. I had to laugh. That's funny. I'm gonna start recommending that for the ladies that come in here that's lost their libido. Of course, that's the thyroid in most cases, but uh, it's picked up your pituitary. <laughs> that's pretty good. You did really good. <laughs> NYX. I love that. You're a good sweetheart. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me see. Oh, you got this uh, detox kit, the Holy, the Holy Grail. <laughs> you got the detox kit into the country, Denmark. Yo! Um, good work. Uh, Kelly, you're kicking butt. Hang on through the winter. You know, you just, uh, it's all you can do is uh, do your very best through these winter months. It is trying. They are hostile environments to homo sapiens. And full heart. I give you a big hug and kiss, sweetheart. You're a sweetheart. I always remember you. Uh, let me see. This is a uh, homesteader. Uh, what is this? A rock and roll band or blues band. What's going on there, man? Bow. Uh, let me see. Uh, this person has, uh, has been raw vegan for 10 years. I've been to Ann Wigmore in Puerto Rico, worked at Hippocrates in California, worked with David Wolf in Cali, lived in Hawaii. Man, you've had a lot of fun out there. You've been on uh, Sat Matt's uh, Ashram for 15 months in Oregon, New York, and Florida. I had a lovely, sweet lady that was a real close friend, uh, spent some time in the New York Ashram there. Uh, yeah. I heard you say on some YouTube video that's some place near your help. Yeah, you know what? I'll, um, there's not much going on there half the time, though, because we don't keep a lot of people there. People don't come in here to a place. We have a couple that's uh, created a, oh, like a big nursing home out of their house type thing. It's not really a nursing home, but it is. They take care of elder people, but they also take care of our clients. They got nice pools and everything like that. But, um, you know, we, we don't get a lot of people that are here to stay. We were working on a project I was telling you guys about earlier on, like a Disney-type project. This guy, I think, turned out to be a scam artist. And uh, so um, I don't buy into those things too much. I just keep hoping things will show up like that really good. But this guy was scamming big time. It was a sad thing. Uh, so anyway, I'll keep, keep you in mind there, man. Jackie Doe. Jackie Doe, male or female? We, we're, we're trying to figure out, are you a man or a female? Kind doctor, what is uh, foam in the stool? Yeah, I was saying that I don't know what that is. Uh, uh, Bandit, uh, let me see. I'm taking your superfood blend and feel the energy. You like that superfood blend? I love that superfood blend. Um, I've got a ton of people on it. If you're a performer, a musician, we've got a who's who on that formula, and boy, does it pump. So it really pumps you up. I think Brian Adams enjoys it. Uh, I heard Garth Brooks took it. I'm not sure, but oh, uh, um, oh, oh um, Curly, he drives bus for all of them. He's, uh, he sucks it down, and we have the Letterman, of course, suck it down. Uh, it's just good for energy, good for, uh, it's just, I, I love it. There's no algae, palm scum in it. I didn't put digestive enzymes or probiotics. That's ridiculous. It's a powerful superfood, and I just really love it. I'm alert and uplifted. I can't wait to meet uh, Mary Gladstar. Yeah, Mary Gladstar, that, uh, I've never met her either, but I, I do have her herbal program. I'm almost done with it, but I'm, I've got about, 
six or seven uh, home study herbal uh, courses that uh, I just haven't got a chance to do. You know, I've been so insanely busy. I was wanting to have probably 10, 15 different degrees on herbology, you know, uh, just, just because I love the field. So just for the fun of it, because the future naturopathic uh, uh, concepts are just... Uh, uh, Face has been rubbed in the soil by the medical doctors. Now you have naturopathic medicine. I read you yesterday. You probably haven't got it yet. But um, where uh, a naturopath is working with this one lady here on the YouTube. I, she's probably spent thousands with this naturopath with zero uh, improvement. And, and what she was doing was totally stupid to me. Uh, had no bearing on causative factors of anything and it was obviously this nature path didn't have a clue what causes things. I think it's disgraceful for a nature path to graduate from a naturopathic school and not have the information that I'm sharing with you guys today and, and the last four or five months. I think it's sad that at least they don't have a lot of this. I don't expect them to have all of this because this is my life's work, but I do expect them to know most of this. And it's sad that we just don't have that. There's several um, um, osteopathic friends of mine that would love to start a naturopathic school of my, with me and, and keep it true naturopathy. And that is what we might do in the future, time permitting, I don't know. And the coursework would be fun and you're going to come out buffed. I tried to do that in this five day course. In five days, if I can't teach you to cure everything on the planet, then I failed. In five days, that's how simple this is. In five days. It'd be nice to have about six months school with me where after six months you're going to go out and kick butt. So you're looking at someone with a six-year degree to a ten-year degree that can't cure anything. Matter of fact, it's set loose, probably kills a lot of people at first. And, and, and yet, in, in less than six months, I can train you to be avid cures of anything on the planet. How to regenerate, genetically remembering of cells, uh, the whole art of detoxification and rebuilding the human body. Uh, I mean, it's just disgraceful that we have an educational system that turns out people that don't know how to cure. Why, why would you even go to school then? But Mary Gladstar, she has great face. Someone else asked me about Mary Gladstar. She has a beautiful face cream. I love her face cream. We sell it here at the pharmacy. Uh, I've always loved that face cream. Boy, does it feel good. Good stuff. So another good herbalist out there. But no one has taken herbology like we have. We've twisted. I've taken that and twisted that from a treatment-based modality to a detoxification regeneration focus. And uh, it even works better. Herbs work better when you use them along with the, the understanding of how the lymphatic system works and, and the needs of detoxification and what acidosis is. It works better to use herbology. If you're using herbology to treat symptoms, it's still the best thing going, but nothing like the focus of, of true nature of and what we're doing here. These health programs we've created, there's, and you guys are helping me to create them and work them and go on down the road. Nothing like them. Thank you so much, 0990087662. Thank you so much for your... These are all very inspirational to me. I appreciate your comments from my heart. They help me to, you know, to feel like this is worth it. Worth putting up with the Mr. Stones of the world, in other words. Do you think plants are being harmed by all the EMFs? Probably. I mean, I don't know what to say. You know, it's like uh, the air is full. And if you don't get into the now, people are getting confused. Notice how people are going crazy, going nuts? Because the airwaves are so full of, of noise. Uh, I, I just can't even hardly listen to music anymore. I've got to have totally peaceful and quiet. Uh, uh, that's why I live as a recluse. I, I hate noise. It's, it's just there's so much noise everywhere. No one really thinks about noise pollution. Uh, those that are listeners do because that you're always listening. 